break out the tissues, cause things are gonna get messy when the natural world's slipperiest customers dribble all over your screen. We're counting down the top 10 slime balls in the animal kingdom to find out just who has the most uses for their marvelous mucus. We'll discover that as we get nearer our destination, the more we're slip sliding away when slime balls are taken to the most extreme. Earth is a planet of extremes. Extreme places. And extreme animals. But some animals are more extreme.
that scientists call the goo the bulletproof vest of the slime world. However, as our countdown continues, we'll meet other slime balls that use their sticky secretions for far more than just defense. Sometimes you can find slime on the walls of a cave, cunningly disguised as 11,000 year old works of art. Back then, the world was still gripped by an ice age, yet human artists were capable of grinding up pigments and mixing colors with a secret ingredient, their spit. kind of spray paint using charcoal and saliva. Our next contender is another artist found in caves. Only this animal uses spit to create not paintings, but sculptures. Flying in to number nine in the countdown is the cave swiftlet. These birds nest far from predators high on the roof of a cavern. The trouble is, on these smooth walls, there's nowhere to put a normal nest of twigs or leaves. So instead, the swiftlet builds a white cup using nothing but spit. During the breeding season, the bird's salivary glands enlarge so that it can produce copious amounts of spit. The slime hardens in contact with air so the bird works fast with its beak, weaving the saliva strand into the mesh of the nest. It's a precarious perch for the bird's precious eggs, so it's no wonder that some species even use a little saliva to glue the eggs to the nest. Even with two parents dribbling full time, it can take more than a month to complete the nest. However, it's worth the effort to keep their chicks far from the reach of predators. But some people in Southeast Asia will go to extraordinary lengths to get into a swiftlet's bed of slime. All it takes is a little careful cleaning to turn a nest of dried spit into a delicacy. The Swiftlet's careful creation is the main ingredient in bird's nest soup. It's so highly sought after that one pound of this caviar of the East can cost more than $1,000. And that's why in Malaysia, some people are investing in a business that's strictly for the birds. These urban buildings may look deserted, but a speaker system is broadcasting advertisements for a most unusual tenant. This is a hotel for Swiftlets. These artificial caves in the middle of the city are becoming very popular. In just three years, the number of urban nesting sites has increased from 150 to over 2,000. luxury accommodation complete with a stereo system and running water for air conditioning. And at the end of the bird's stay, the landlord gets to collect the nests. It's a whole lot easier to scrape saliva from a ceiling than off the roof of a cave that can be 35 stories above the ground. How would you like to stand on top of a rickety bamboo scaffold just to get your hands on some Swiftlet saliva. And while it's much easier to collect slime from animals coming up in the countdown, nobody wants to eat it. While our first two slime balls found interesting uses for their mucus, scientists have discovered that the goop from our next contender works really well.
Well, when spread on your skin. And later, we'll discover that humans are not the only ones to use slime on their spiky hairstyle.